Hey, how's it going everybody? It's your boy Satoshi coming right back at you for another video where today I'm going to guide you through the wonderful world of DSO. So this is the perfect and the ultimate and the pinnacle of social media on the blockchain. It's called DSO, DSO.com. And this is one of the, first of all, most innovative projects I've seen so far. And second of all, most innovative and beautiful websites that I have seen so far. So let's just hop right into it, enjoy the journey, and let's see what the social layer of crypto has to offer for us. So DSO is the first layer one blockchain built from the ground up to decentralize social media and scale storage heavy apps to billions of users. It's quite simple. You can create a wallet or start building immediately. I will leave all the resources that you could potentially use and benefit from in the description below, as I always do. And if you want to learn more about the entire DSO uh, world or about anything else on the blockchain, maybe subscribe to the channel, check out our other news resources. You're, there's a lot to learn, right? In this world, every day is another journey. So back to the point, the first blockchain that can disrupt social media is DSO, right? And look at this, it's, it's absolutely crazy. It looks like something from Interstellar. So this is the only blockchain uh, that can power storage heavy applications, right? A lot of data is required here and existing blockchains are not equipped to store and index all of that data. So DSO itself unlocks the next frontier for blockchain infrastructure, building from the ground up to actually scale one of the biggest untapped markets for blockchain, which is social media. So it's 100% open source, 100% on chain, permissionless data and 100% of all of the code and data are completely open. All of the posts and social graphs on DSO are stored directly on chain. And if you wanna go beyond DeFi with DSO, it's the only blockchain that can power storage heavy or infinite state apps by combining financial primitives with cheap content storage. Quite simple to understand, quite easy to use, and let's dive further, right? So honestly, this animation is absolutely tremendous. I've never seen a website like this. And honestly, I just want to get to the bottom of it so I can see who built the website first and foremost. But, you know, in the meantime, I might teach you a thing or two and teach myself a thing or two about DSO itself. So DeFi blockchains are finite state and, you know, like DeFi, these can only power storage light applications where data and storage stay constant with each transaction. So there's a certain cost associated to this. And the reason why DSO can actually provide all of these services at a way lower cost than general blockchains out there is that it is infinite state. So infinite state apps generate new data with every transaction that has to be stored and indexed. For example, social apps generate data with every post, like, follow, etc. And DSO is the only blockchain that can power next gen apps like this. This is a little cost comparison comparing DSO, Cardano, Avalanche, Solana, Polygon, and Ethereum. As you can see, Ethereum is one of the you know, most expensive apps over here because it simply isn't built for something like this, right? Cardano was aiming to do it, Avalanche was as well. DSO tra absolutely trumps everything else because it allows you to store pretty much anything and also interchangeable or infinite storage data. So all profiles, all posts, threads, comments, token activity, this is content stored directly on the DSO blockchain. Private messages between users, likes, follows, social token activity, all social tipping activity, all NFT minting, auctions, all transfer activity, links to all rich media, which is videos, images, PDFs, carousels, or whatnot, all verifications and endorsements, and images and videos. Uh, or what do you say, images? And all images and videos coming out very soon, right? So literally everything will be stored. So if we go here, we can see that there's over 85 million transactions on the DSO blockchain already, 2 million holders uh, or wallets, 30 million in creator earnings, which is really interesting to see. And the total transaction volume is $2 billion. So these guys are already quite huge. This is gonna be the next generation of social apps right here. And I'll show you a few, right? So what we can see is one profile, take your identity, content, and social graph with you across any app using DSO, right? So you have Diamond, which is decentralized Twitter. You have Open Fund, which is decentralized fundraising. You have DSOFI, which is decentralized social uh, for the mobile if you wanna use any of the three. It's quite simple, right? So it's censorship resistant, which is something that Elon is pushing for. Decentralized identity, so your profile followers, content, and all social graph carry across hundreds of apps throughout the DSO ecosystem. You own your own content and you can monetize it from day one. We can start earning with new primitives like NFTs, DAOs, crypto tips, social tokens, and 
much more, right? So if you want to launch your next big app, you can also do it using DSO, right? Now moving forward into a little bit more of this wonderful animation, right? You can also develop using Web2 programming languages, even though it is on the blockchain, where you basically solve the cold start problem and tap into an open fire hose of millions of wallets, profiles and content from day one of launching your very own app. So this is for the devs out, where, out there, because DSO makes it possible to very easily build on chain and you can build anything. It's quite crazy, right? Integrating the social layer with DSO identity at the same time. The easiest way to do this is to literally integrate the DSO identity into your app. It's a self-custodial decentralized wallet and it identifies as a solution for, uh, you know, any developer out there can find a solution within DSO because it's very easy to plug it into your own app, right? If you want to log in with DSO, uh, you know, there's a Google login option. It's integrated with MetaMask uh, e to e uh, encrypted messaging, right, end-to-end, 100% -end, self-custodial wallets, uh, derived key support. And if you want to find your own project, you can start your fundraising right here. If you want to run your own DSO node, you can do so yourself. And obviously, if you want to view more and learn more, view the roadmap for decentralizing social media, see all the exciting initiatives. And honestly, just website-wise, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen, right? So this is the phases of what DSO is doing right now. Phase three is what they're going to be doing in the future. And obviously, you know what they've accomplished so far. And if we keep moving, we're going to get to about DSO. If you want to learn a little bit more, you can hop into that. That was chapter seven. There is a little part of the team as well, which you can learn a little bit more about here. These guys are absolutely crazy about what they're doing. And lastly, uh, last but not least, uh, supported by the DSO Foundation and down here, we can see that it is a custom build for DSO, so we're not going to see the agency or company that actually built this. So it's made by Ordinary Folk X Studio Friday. Pretty cool. I'm not plugging anyone or anything. It's just uh, really cool to see a website designed so uh, nicely. And obviously, if you want to explore more, you can go ahead and learn more today. So that was DSO. I hope you guys enjoyed this little journey. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, you know, never invest in or should i say i'm not a financial advisor and anything you do invest in blockchain crypto or nft projects you should do your own due diligence beforehand so that being said i'll see you guys in the next video